Approximately 2.5 billion people worldwide do not have an account at a financial institution. That's about 34% of the world's population. For many people in developing countries, bank branches are too far away, savings accounts charge high fees, and interest rates on loans are not affordable. With such limited access, most poor households operate in a cash economy, using physical assets or informal mechanisms to meet their needs. So how do these cash economies work? Grace is a farmer. Whenever she has extra money, she invests in livestock. Grace's dream is to finish her family house. Uma owns a hair salon and shop. When cash is low, she borrows from her supplier to purchase goods. Uma hopes to grow her business by offering more products for sale. Jasmine is a farmer. She saves up for fertilizer through a savings group. Her dream is to send her child to boarding school. While these informal mechanisms work most of the time, they can be insecure, expensive, or complicated to use. Mobile financial services are making it possible for customers to more easily and affordably save, borrow, and send money. So Grace can securely save money for her home, Uma can borrow at a good interest rate to buy more profitable goods, and Jasmine can instantly and securely send school fees to a boarding school far away. Let's look at how we might improve the existing services. Women are stuck at home making it less likely that they learn about services that are available or visit agents to transact. They often send their kids to transact for them. We can improve this by advertising and sharing information about services through relevant channels such as radio, community meetings, and the phone. Registration is expensive and painful. In some scenarios, it's cheaper for users to not register and transact through other people's accounts instead. We can improve this by simplifying the registration process to make it easier, more affordable, and enticing. The phone interfaces are not intuitive. Menus are often not in local languages, include confusing terminology, and in some cases the text is so small people have difficulty reading. Users memorize steps or rely on others to help them. We can improve this by making the interface more intuitive, using local languages, increasing the text size, and giving customers a cheat sheet so they can help themselves through the process. Some users never become independent, either because they do not receive enough support or because they need or prefer human assistance. We can improve this by offering more support through the whole process, from sign up to using, and we can give agents resources to better help customers. Mobile services require customers to use lots of numbers, such as PIN codes, account numbers, and USSD codes. These numbers are hard to memorize and enter, increasing error rates and frustrating users. Customers choose easy to remember PIN codes which make their accounts vulnerable to theft. We can improve this by replacing numbers with other options such as letters, menus, or patterns. And so there are immediate opportunities for mobile operators and financial service providers to make modest changes that could result in greater uptake and usage, creating a big win for everyone involved, large-scale social and economic benefits for the poor, and sustainable increased revenues for the service providers.